Watch you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at the media creation tool is not working in Windows 10. So if you're trying to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it, and you get this error message saying there was a problem running this tool, and then you'll get an error code there, then I'm going to show you basically how you can try to resolve this issue. Now, sometimes this is due to permissions issues or a corrupted USB flash drive. So right click on the media creation tool uh, executable file, and this will open up this little box here. What you're looking for here is a little area down the bottom that says security. Put the tick inside unblock and apply an OK and try and run that program again. If that doesn't work, then I'll show you another way. So head over to the Microsoft's website and try to download media creation tool again and run it again to see whether that resolves the issue. If it doesn't, uh, push F12 on your keyboard and this will open up uh, the developer options here. Head up to the top here where you can see the iPad and the mobile phone. Click on this one and once you've done this, you should see something looking like this on the left hand side here. Go up to the top and click on responsive and there's a little arrow there. Click on this and click uh, iPad. Once you click on iPad, you should see something looking like this on the screen. Go up to where it says Windows here. It's very hard to see, but just click on Windows and click Windows 10. So once you click on Windows 10, this will change the menu down below. So now we can choose our edition and also our language. And this is important because it's acting as if it's on a tablet. So click on Windows 10 and once we select Windows 10 and confirm this, it will change. And then we can go down to where it says select language, select the language that you want. In my case, it's going to be UK. So if you need another language, you can choose uh, whatever language you use for your country. So I'm just going to select English, then confirm. And what this will do is it will then give you the option to download the ISO file. So choose the version you want, 32-bit or 64-bit. Generally, this is 64-bit. Download this, and the ISO file should start to download. Now, what we're going to do here is bypass the media creation tool altogether, just in case there's an issue with it, and go over to uh, the website called Rufus and download uh, Rufus and use this to create a bootable USB flash drive. Now, this next step is important because you need to make sure that your USB flash drive is working correctly and it's not dying. It's no good assuming it's working correctly. Just replace it and try another one, and hopefully that resolves your problem. You can now download Rufus from the website, and basically you can use this to create your bootable USB flash drive and with Windows 10 on it. So I'm going to go down to the portable version here. You can download the install version if you wish. Click on the executable file, and this will open up Rufus for us. I'm going to do this right now. And once that's done, you should see a little box popping up on the screen to say updates. I'm going to cancel this, and you should see Rufus. So now what we need to do is select the ISO. So select the ISO that you downloaded from Microsoft's website. Click Open. And what this will do is allow us to make some changes here. So what we want to change is here. You can either have GPT or you can have MBR. MBR is for older PCs, but if you don't want to change certain settings in the bars, you can leave it as MBR here. And we're going to have this as a standard Windows uh, installation. Click on Start here. And this will then start to uh, wipe your USB flash drive and install Windows 10 onto it to make it bootable. So you can then boot to that USB flash drive and install Windows 10. Now, as for the problem in hand, it's either a corrupted uh, USB flash drive, a corrupted piece of media that you've used, i.e. Windows 10 ISO file that's uh, corrupted, or you've got some sort of permissions issue on your PC, which is blocking you from uh, running this program on there. And you need to check all your permissions uh, to make sure that's gone. Okay, so that's going to be about it for this one. Just a quick video. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. My name has been Brian from BrightTechComputers.co.uk. Bye for now.